now. Huh? And what do you do? Uh, I'm actually a professor, but right now I'm working uh, with uh, MTEC and Dexon. Okay. And um, so the MTEC, I mean, is a really unique uh, notebook, I think, in terms of the operating system. Thank you. The, the G key, the, the way that it's the designed. The GDM as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the name of it. Yeah. And um, so uh, one of the things that you're really trying to do is work with the open source community uh, to get more development going on. Yes. Tell me about this, um, how you're doing that. Okay. So we have launched this program, we call it One Laptop for, for a Hacker uh, program, uh, that uh, you will get a GDM, a GDM Liberty machine, uh, with two G keys, 16 uh, uh, gigabyte uh, G keys, which uh, have the operating system reside on, on the G key. Uh, and I think what we're asking for is about 250 euros uh, to get into that. And then you write a little short thing as to what you want to do with this. Uh, in terms of uh, development, of further development of the operating system, applications, uh, application to particular opportunities. We're very interested in educational opportunities, for example. Content development, application developments, we'll give it to you. But now, now you do, obviously, you just launched this, what, like a week or two ago. Yes, uh, What correct. kind of responses are there so far? Uh, uh, we have received very good responses, uh, and we sort of monitored the websites that had mentioned that, and it seems like it is diffusing well. And we're, so far, we're very glad. I think we'll have enough units. So, well, we'll, we will have enough units to give them. Have, have you sent out some already? A, a few we have sent out already. And our intention is really, we want to work with this community. All together, this is a, this is a very open source, open architecture. The CPU is even open, you know. Um, what, what was behind the decision, I don't know if this was your decision or not, but what was behind the decision to go with uh, Mandriva Linux, which um, I think is fairly no, well known in France. And okay. Yeah, because it's, we're located in France. Yeah. So Dexon is a French company located in uh, France. And Mandriva also had worked with ST Microelectronics, that is a co-developer with Institute for Computer Technology in China, of the Lungsun processor. And Mandriva does have um, a uh, bootable uh, USB key bootable x86 version, so it was the type of people that we wanted to go with. Uh, but again, it's, it's open to everyone that wants to have their flavor. And, and um, what's different about the about the Lunson processor from typical x86 or the ARM processors we're seeing? Well, others? it is a MIPS processor. It's not x86, so it doesn't run Windows. Uh, the rest of it is, uh, so Mandriva has written the kernels for it, uh, but the, the rest of it, it should be accessible to the Linux uh, community as, as any other public execution. And it's pretty responsive for doing things like web browsing, watching video? Yes. Yes, it's pretty responsive. It's, you know, but then you'll get a chance to look at it, how, how responsive it is. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Surely.